Hey everybody, my name is Taylor Glenn and this is my channel Taylor Tries where I try new things and I try to teach you new things and today I'm going to teach you how to do some easy three ball tricks with three balls. No. I mean yes, but that sounds stupid. So the tricks I'm going to teach you today are the one up, two up, half shower, juggler's tennis, the reverse cascade, and under the leg. The tricks I'm gonna teach you today are, in my opinion, the first real juggling tricks that you should learn after doing the three ball cascade. That being said, if you don't know how to do the three ball cascade really well, you shouldn't be learning tricks yet. Focus on getting that pattern solid and then come back and you can learn how to do all these cool things. But if you're feeling comfortable with three balls and you're ready to learn some tricks, let's do it. Throughout this tutorial, you'll notice that I used these bright Russian style juggling balls to teach you. The reason I did that is because of the different colors. However, if you're just getting into juggling, I highly recommend getting yourself an affordable quality set of juggling bean bags. I have a set on sale now that you can get at Juggling Warehouse. There's a link to that in the description and it supports me. So, you know, that's nice. The first trick I'm gonna teach you is called a one up, two up. It's a pretty clever name. It looks like this. The best way to get ready for the one up, two up or pretty much any three ball trick is to practice throwing one ball higher than the rest of your pattern. So start with the three ball cascade, but then pick a ball and throw it high. Practice that with both hands. Just get comfortable intentionally throwing one ball higher than the rest of your pattern. Once you're comfortable with that, let's apply that to the one up, two up. So juggle your normal cascade, but throw one ball higher. When you do it, throw it in the middle of your body. Normally, when that ball is coming down, we would just throw the next ball. But in the one up, two up, we're gonna throw two up. Immediately after throwing the two up, you'll catch that first ball that you threw. It doesn't really matter which hand you catch it in. It's really up to you whether you catch it in the same hand that threw it or in the other hand. Try playing around with catching it with either hand. See which one feels more comfortable. So back to the pattern. We have two up in the air and one in our hand. Now the two are gonna come down and all we have to do is throw that one up again. From here, you can just continue back into the normal three ball cascade. Or you can continue the pattern and throw the two up again. You can really repeat that as many times as you want and then just get back into the cascade by continuing after your one up. When you practice this, make sure your lines are pretty straight. Keep that one up in the middle of your body and the twos about where your shoulders are. Now, if you're having a particularly hard time getting into that pattern from the three ball cascade, you can do what we call a cold start and start without juggling the three ball cascade first. In order to do that, you just start with the one up. One, two, one, catch. One, two, one, two, one, catch. So there you go, that's the one up, two up. It's pretty basic. You should be able to get it without too much practice and it looks really cool. So let's move on to the next trick. The next trick we're gonna learn is the half shower. The half shower is an awesome pattern and it is a staple in the juggling community. So the half shower looks like this. The reason why this pattern is called the half shower is because it's half of another pattern called the shower. Shower, half shower. It's basically kind of like an easier version of that pattern. The shower is a harder trick. I'll cover that in another tutorial, but for now, let's focus on the half shower. All right, to get you started in this pattern, I want you to drop one ball, like that. So we have two balls, we're gonna break it down. Normally in the cascade, you're doing two throws that are going underneath each other. But in the half shower, you're gonna have a hand that is always throwing on the outside of the other ball. So instead of this, like in the cascade, you'll do this. So you want that first throw to be a normal cascade throw scooping outside to inside just like normal. But the next throw you're gonna throw on the outside rather than on the inside. I recommend having the ball that's going on the outside be from your dominant hand. I think people typically find that easier. So just practice that a few times. Depending on how comfortable you are with three balls, this might feel really foreign. So really take your time and get comfortable with that feeling of throwing the dominant hand on the outside. All right, once you feel comfortable with that, you can pick up a third ball and let's put it into an actual pattern. So start by juggling your three ball cascade, but then pick a ball and when you throw it, try throwing it on the outside of the pattern. Practice by just doing one throw first. One, 
and then back into the normal cascade. You want it to create a sort of arc over the top of the other two balls. If you notice when I'm doing it, when I catch the ball that I'm gonna throw over the top, I dip my hand down, scoop it out, and throw it over the top. Just start by doing one. And then I recommend doing one out of every four throws. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then you can upgrade to the actual pattern, which is every time you throw it with that hand, you will be throwing the ball over the top. Try starting with just two throws, then go back into your cascade. One, two. Then try three throws. One, two, three. And then four throws. One, two, three, four. And then from there, you're doing the pattern. Just every time you throw with that hand, throw it over the top. And that is the half shower. It's awesome. If you're feeling super ambitious, once you're comfortable with that on one side, you can practice it on the other side. It's kind of like two tricks in one. Bonus! So the next trick is called juggler's tennis, or sometimes just referred to as tennis. It looks like this. The reason why this trick is called tennis is because it looks like a ball is going over the top of two people playing tennis. Look, they're playing tennis with a little pink tennis ball. It's super cute. Anyway, so if you practice the half shower that we just learned, tennis is really not gonna be that much harder. Tennis is basically a half shower throw from one side immediately returned by the other side. So it's one ball that is always going over the top of the pattern. For me, the easiest way to practice this is to pick one ball and just know that every time you throw that ball, it should be an outside over the top throw. So in this case, I'll pick the green ball. Maybe you had a hard time with the half shower and like this doesn't feel super natural to you. You can practice this just by throwing one ball over the top from each hand randomly throughout the pattern just to get comfortable with that motion. Just throw one ball over the top every so often to get comfortable with that feeling. Moving up from that, you could do it every five throws. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Then from there, upgrade to the actual pattern, which is every three. One, two, 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 three. One. That's it. That's Juggler's Tennis. I love that trick. It's such a good trick. It has a cute name, and it gets you comfortable using both hands to do different type of throws. All right, the next trick we're gonna learn is called the Reverse Cascade. It looks like this. In case you couldn't tell from the name and from looking at it, the reverse cascade is the reverse of the cascade. So in the regular cascade, every throw is being thrown from the inside, going to the outside. With the reverse cascade, we're reversing it. We're going to do that same outside throw that we've been practicing with tennis and the half shower and throw outside to inside. And we're gonna do that with every single throw. We're gonna break it down again, we're gonna drop one ball and we're gonna start with two. So normally with the cascade, we go inside, inside, catch, catch. But now with the reverse cascade, we're gonna go outside, 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 outside. So we're going to scoop inside to outside. We're gonna throw the two balls up and they're gonna end sort of to the other side in the middle of our body. Try doing that just once. One, two. Then try starting it with alternating hands. So right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right. Practice this with two balls. It's important. Get that until you feel comfortable, then pick up a third ball. All right, three balls, reverse cascade. This is great, feeling good. We're gonna treat this kind of like we were learning the normal cascade. So we're gonna start with one, two, just like we were doing with two balls. But now when that second ball comes down, we're gonna throw a third one. So one, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop. Then add a fourth throw. One, two, three, four, stop. One, two, three, four, stop then a fifth throw, and a sixth throw, and so on. And eventually, you'll have the reverse cascade. Yay! Next trick. The next trick is supposed to get you used to the idea of incorporating your body more into your juggling. So an easy way to do that is to do an under the leg throw. It looks like this.
Now, before we get into this one, obviously, if you're somebody who doesn't feel comfortable moving your body in that way, maybe you have mobility issues, don't strain yourself to learn this trick. It is a kind of physical trick, but a lot of you I know will be able to pick this one up really quickly, so I'm gonna teach it to you. Under the leg throw, first thing we should do is practice just throwing under the leg with one ball. Drop the two, yeah. We're gonna pick up our leg. I feel stupid teaching this to you, but just, you know, Bear with me. With the under the leg throw, you can do it two different ways. You can practice it by doing it with the leg that is the same as the hand that you're throwing with. So same leg, or you can do the opposite leg. Opposite leg. Pick whichever one feels more comfortable for you, or if you wanna practice both, practice both. But take a second and just practice doing that motion. So lift up your leg, throw underneath. Personally, when I do this trick, I'm relying on my fingers to roll the ball a little bit more than I normally am when I'm juggling. So I'm here and I'm letting it roll off the tip of my fingers. So keep that in mind if you want to practice that way. You can also practice it with both hands if you want. Feeling good with that, let's move on to three balls. The first step with three balls, in my opinion, is to get comfortable juggling a three ball cascade while balancing on one foot. So just practice lifting your foot up. I feel stupid, but I'm teaching you. To get into the actual throw, I recommend starting to lift your leg before you start throwing. So I really don't recommend trying to do it all at once, like you're not gonna have enough time. Lift your leg first, then throw. See the difference? I'm lifting my leg just a catch or two before I'm actually going to start the throw. One of the things that I want you to keep an eye out for is that throw right before the under the leg throw. Right after you catch the ball that you're going to throw under your leg, you have one more throw before that actual under the leg throw. That throw can have a tendency to be either too low or too far inside. So when you do it, make sure that throw is a nice lofty throw and more on the outside, Once you feel good with that under the leg throw, you can start doing it on both sides or multiple times from the same side. That's it. So those are some super legit, easy three ball tricks that you can learn after learning the three ball cascade. I know they take a little bit of practice, but hopefully you didn't find them too unbelievably hard. If you did learn any or all of these tricks and you like this tutorial, make sure you push the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know that it worked and consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that you'll know when I make more tutorials. I, I'm gonna make a lot. So you wanna know when that happens. If you wanna go the extra mile and show me extra support, you can go over to Patreon and join my Otter Club where you get all sorts of insider goodies and it helps me out, honestly. If you already are one of my patrons, thank you so much. You make it possible for me to keep making this quality content for you guys, so thanks. All right, that's it. Happy juggling and I'll see you next time. Oh, that hurt. That was not good. Ah, oh, my chin. I didn't take my allergy meds today. Dang it. I hate you, plane. I hate you. You're making my job so much harder. It's three o'clock.